Good evening everybody and welcome to our evening midweek Compline service. Uh, it's a time for us to refresh ourselves in the middle of the week in prayer to come together despite the uh, divisions that distancing causes in some ways at the moment. It um, surpasses and overcomes. It's an opportunity for us to pray together and to listen to God's word for us and for each other together. Let's take a moment of quiet as we settle in at the end of a busy day in prayer and in community with God. Almighty God, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Merciful Father, we confess to you, before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 143 Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no living, shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is desolate. I remember the time past, I muse upon all your deeds, I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps to you like a thirsty lad. O Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in. 
for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake, for your righteousness' sake. Bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly, I am your servant. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from Mark 13. 35. Keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or at dawn, or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. Into your spirit, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace, your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Come, O Lord, and visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a perfect heart. Heavenly Father, in these challenging times of lockdown, in these challenging times of uncertainty and restriction, we pray for those that we love in our families. We pray as we look forward to time, the time of Advent, the time where naturally we would be wishing to gather together as community where we would be looking to gather together as friends, where we would be looking to gather together naturally around tables, around trees, and around each other as relations and loved ones of all kinds. Heavenly Father, we pray that your Holy Spirit be amongst us, amongst these challenges. Help us, Lord, to be wise. Help us, Lord, to be safe. Help us, Lord, to seek out the moments of celebration, but also to be ready and willing to support those who are anxious and suffering 
and finding this time, quite rightly, very difficult. Help us, Lord, in this little group of villages as we prepare in Advent. Help us in our preparations, in our preparations for different events and celebrations, perhaps very different for the first time. Yet, Lord, show us your blessing through that adversity. Show us your blessing through that struggle, that we might be all the more adventurous, all the more inventive, all the more courageous and loving and compassionate to, to each other. Work through us, Lord, we pray. We pray, Lord, for our nation, for our leaders, for the many challenging, uh, many challenging issues around supplying responses to the pandemic, pandemic, and also to the Brexit negotiations that are taking place at this, at this time. We pray, Lord, for common sense. We pray, Lord, for those who are in positions of power to always be looking to the lesser and the least, to those who might be affected most by the decisions at the top. We pray, Lord, that those who have the most power and influence always are filled with a heart for service. And we pray too for our local leaders. We pray for wisdom there too. And of course, we pray for the comfort and support of our local educators, our teachers, those who clean our schools, those who come in voluntarily, those who support in all sorts of different ways. And we pray for those who keep us safe at night, our police and emergency services, and of course especially our NHS. All of those who work difficult hours in times when we are looking to be celebrating uh, Advent festivities. Heavenly Father, we hold these up to you and we pray that you wrap your arms around them in this, these challenging times. And we pray for those who are sick and for those who are lonely, those who are challenged after such a challenging year. Uh, give us, Lord, each individual the ears and the eyes to recognise where that need is and guide us in, guide us in like little loving missiles to serve uh, accurately what need there is in our communities. And we lift all of these prayers up to you, Lord, in the name of your Son who paid the cheque for all of us. Help us, Lord, to serve and love each other with outrageous grace. O oh Lord, raise up, we pray, your power and come among us, and with great might succour us, that whereas through our sins and wickedness we are grievously hindered in running the race that is set before us, your bountiful grace and mercy may speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory, now and for ever. Amen. And we say together the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Restore us again. O God of hosts, show us the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Bless and keep us, this night and always. Amen.